Part two for my hydro steering video is way past due. The reason why I didn't just go ahead and, and throw something out there was I actually wanted to run it a little bit and test it and try it out, see how I really liked it. But I'm gonna do a quick walk around and kind of give you all a little update. All right, I could not keep my belt tight. I ended up actually uh, welding a bracket onto the frame and making a little tensioner. Since I did that, we've had zero issues with it slipping. The case half, a lot of people ask me where I got that. I got it from LaRue Performance. It also came with the pulley. This is a trail gear um, V-Groove pulley, six inch. Um, that is a trail gear uh, power steering pump as well. The bracket, you guys can see it's still kind of rusty. I haven't taken it off and powdered it yet. Um, it is, uh, it's, it's something I made. I don't have anything for you guys there. Moving around to the back, uh, I mounted my cooler in here. It's actually ignored my uh, crappy wiring and stuff because I'm getting ready to do a, a, a 25 foot long light whip video. But uh, the, the reservoir is in here. I found out that this needs to be at the highest spot possible. Um, anyways, the cooler here. Orbital valve, I went with a 200. Originally I put in a 125. The 200 worked better for me because all the riding I do is like slower, like mud and bounding courses. I'm not doing anything like 60, 70, 80 miles an hour. So I wanted something that reacted really fast. All right, moving around to the front, the tie rods. Okay, guys, I had so many people talk about bump steer, this, that, and the other. Um, it, of course, it's going to have some. But again, that's okay because of what I'm doing. I'm not going fast. I'm trail riding, hitting mud, stuff like that. 30, 40 miles an hour is all I'm really doing out of this machine. It gets there quickly, but I'm not doing the top speed stuff, guys. A little bump steer here and there isn't bad. Matter of fact, when I did the ball joint delete, uh, it, it actually was, that was the majority of my bump steer, not, not the steering. All right, guys, I kept a majority of the boxes and everything like that, so that way it would help me with part numbers and stuff like that for you guys. But this is the pulley, take a screenshot. This is the power steering pump that I used. Take a screenshot. Another shot of that power steering that I got right here. As far as the cylinder goes, guys, you can use about anything you want. You only need like two and a half to three inches of, of throw. I actually had four inches. I ended up cutting the cylinder down, putting some stops inside the cylinder. Now, when it comes to the hydraulic fittings, I noticed that there was a couple different uh, ways to do this. I recommend getting the reusable ones. This is one that's crimped on. Basically what happened is I had this hose made. It was like an inch short. Story of my life, right? Look at my hat. But anyways, if I had just used a reusable fitting, I would have been able to just take it off and put it right back on a new piece of hose. The hose that I use is this uh, 3 8 5,000 PSI. You can get this at any like uh, store, you know, like your O'Reilly's and stuff. So you're probably asking yourself, why doesn't this kit exist? Like, why isn't this something that you can just buy off the shelf? Why don't other companies make this? And I will tell you why right now. There are way too many different um, A-arms and tie rods and different models of machines. Ideally, this RAM would actually be where the factory um, steering rack is. I ended up putting mine on the outside, just way easier to do there. But... Um, the reason why this doesn't exist like on the shelf or anything is there's just too many different um, um, uh, like options as far as A-arms and portals and portal plates and tie rods and all these different things that would just take way too long to do all that R&D. Not to mention, guys, it's very expensive. Even though I did this kit myself, I'm still probably $3,000 into it. And then I, as far as I know, there's only one person that actually makes a kit for it. Um, and he's like, I don't know, like six or 7000 if I remember right. And it just... I tried to buy one from him, guys, just so you all know, and it just never, I never could get one. It was just a long wait and lots of stuff. So not bashing the guy or anything. I'm just saying it, I did try. Oh yeah, and if you did want to do something like this, like I did with the tensioner, um, you can get that, that tensioner at O'Reilly's as well. I literally just went in there and I found one and I was like, oh, this looks about right and used it. I don't remember the part number or anything, but overall, guys, a lot of this stuff, dude, I was just playing with it, figuring it out as I went. I didn't have a plan. It was just, uh, well, I guess I did have a plan, which was turn the razor because I didn't have that before. It was just locked up. So hopefully some of those part numbers helped you guys. As far as the RAM goes, two and a half, two and three quarters, something like that is ideal. Um, if you do go with more than that, you need to um, you need to cut your cylinder down, go inside, put some stops in, which really wasn't hard. So if you do find one that that is bigger, that's not a big deal. It's not hard to do. And just lastly, I was just editing this video and I forgot to mention this. I just wanted to say I do not recommend doing this if you are doing some high-speed stuff. 
the everything reacts really really quickly there's no feedback in the steering whatsoever so like if you were to go up to a rock or, or a log or something like that and and you were to turn you can't feel it it just turns you know what i mean like it's gonna it will it will push the rock out of the way or push the machine or break something so uh, I just wanted to say that uh, this is not, some, if you want to feel some feedback in the steering, this is not a setup that you want to go with. You want to go with like a, like a hydro assist or something, which is out there. It is available. You can build that type of kit, but just want to let you guys know that no feedback in the steering whatsoever. It's kind of like a boat. Imagine when you steer a boat back and forth, like the, the, the engine or the drives just move in the water. You can't feel anything, right? You just have to assume that they're moving back there. That's kind of what this feels like.